into my uni's for a week. The first day off, open eyes, of the the and the waves cut through. Hello everyone, today is two pics a day and I think I told you last week that I'll be in my new place in Melbourne when I do my next injection but as you can see I'm still in Sydney, I'm still in my dad's room um, but we are heading off today so we're heading off in less than an hour um, so yeah, still in Sydney, but let's do this. I like to warm, warm this up a little bit under my arm while I prep for things, prep for things, and I have the lid, the cap on, so it's not dangerous. I got um, one of these alcohol cleaning wipes at the chemist and it has um, like a whole heap of them inside. I noticed that I gained a bit of weight. I used to always be someone that would eat heaps and not gain weight and since being on Depixit I feel like I'm just putting on the things that I've been eating. Anyway, let's do this thing. I get nervous still, but it's worth it. Putting the needle in used to be the hardest part and now I'm um, now that I'm used to putting the needle in, the bit where I push the medicine in is the most hard part now. I take really big deep breaths and when I breathe out I push this in a little bit by bit. Um, I really synchronize it with my breath and that really helps me. I take my time pushing this in because it hurts when I do it too quickly so I really take my time it does sting a little bit if I go too fast or if I push in while I'm not breathing out so I breathe out push in and blow on the on where the needle is in like and do it really slowly so that's my tip um, if if you're struggling with the pain um, but anyways we're gonna head to Canberra today and stop over stay there for the night and then drive again tomorrow morning Make your mama proud seven days a week But I come back around like a roll of ring When the sun is down it's Hey guys, I'm just in the car Doing my makeup We've got half an hour to Until we check out But 
there's not a good mirror in the, in the motel, so, and my boyfriend's in the bathroom, so I can't use the mirror anyways, hence I'm in the car, rushing my makeup. I'm moving into a shared house today, and there's three other people that live there, so I'm really nervous. I've got, I've still got that social anxiety going on, so uh, I'm pushing myself out there and try to meet people. And I don't know anyone in Melbourne, so I think it'll be nice that I'm gonna be living in a shed house there. Um, it's really close to my uni, so um, it's a good location. Um, yeah, so really nervous. And I'm a little bit excited at the same time. My boyfriend's going to come with me and stay with me for a few days. But he's going to leave by Friday, so I'm gonna be on my own. We've been living together for like two years, so it's pretty sad that we're not gonna be living together for a, f for a while. But <coughs> I think I need the time to live on my own look like at least in a shared house and be independent like because i'm so i feel so dependent on him especially going through tsw last year so i want to be independent um and i feel like not living with him will help me do that and then in a year or so maybe we'll live back together again so yeah and i think it's a nice way to make friends and recover from my social anxiety we've got four we've got about four more hours to drive to melbourne i drove for like an hour yesterday um and my boyfriend drove the rest. It's so much colder down here. It's um, we're still in New South Wales, but it's like halfway to Melbourne, and I can feel the cold. Hello, everyone. Today is Monday. It's skin update day, but I am rushing because I quickly did my makeup because I have my uni's pre week and. I live really, I moved into a shared house, it's my new room, but um, my skin's been doing great and I just did my makeup, yeah I'll update you guys once I am back, I'm just gonna quickly see what I'm gonna wear and change into that and have breakfast and then rush out, so. Hello guys, I am back from the first day of the orientation week. Um, let's get into my skin update so I've been wearing makeup pretty much every day and there seems to be no problem which is fantastic um, I've been using the movie makeup foundation the mineral foundation and it's been really good I don't get any flare-ups and um, I have been having cheat meals here and there but it doesn't get my skin doesn't flare up it doesn't get too itchy but if I do have too much of it I do get a bit of an itchy chest um, it seems like my chest is the place that kind of like reacts um, so my chest will get itchy during the night or it'll get like a bit dry that's how I know how much my body can tolerate. So yeah, I have been enjoying a cheat meal here and there, but it's not like I've been having it every day. And I think that's like important in terms of like stress and not being too strict on yourself because stress can cause flare ups and nutrition is very important, but you don't want to overdo it. And um, yeah, so I know what my triggers are and I know how they react on my body so that's that and my arms have these like little patches of redness they do get itchy sometimes but 
I'm not worried about it. I'm sure it'll go away in a few days. Okay, I will see you guys next week. So I'm in bed um, and I just wanted to update you guys about my mental side of things. Um, obviously, being in a new city and being in a shared house for the first time, living with strangers for the first time and living away from my boyfriend after living with him for two years and on top of that, starting a completely new course, first year at a new uni, it's a lot to take in and that feeling of scariness rushing through my body because I don't have I don't know anyone here and I I don't feel comfortable in the new house yet and I'm just like I don't have anywhere to lean on I've been here for about a week now and it's been three days since my boyfriend's left after coming here with me to help me with the move and I was I'm like trying to hold myself together I, I was and I was in the shower just then and I was I felt like I was gonna cry but I, I felt like if I did cry then I, it would make me even more sad because usually if I cry when my boyfriend's around he was he's there to comfort me and if I cry then I'll have another realization that he's not he and I just did not I didn't want to cry like I felt like everything that I'm holding together was gonna shatter into pieces so I held my tears in and I came into bed and I just was on a phone call a video call with my boyfriend and as soon as I saw his face and um, heard his voice I started bawling my eyes out <laughs> like everything came out and all of my emotions came out and um, it's so hard it's so hard right now for me but I know that going through this will make me so strong and <clears throat> classes are gonna start next week so once I get that routine and start my studies I know that I'll be really busy and time will fly and I'm just so looking forward to living with my boyfriend again the hardest part is that where I'm living at right now isn't comfortable yet so all the uni stuff I can kind of like deal with but it's so hard not to have a home that you can relax in um, so I feel like that's what's getting to me and I really miss my boyfriend so. That was my update, you guys. Hopefully, next week I'll be in a in a little bit of a better place mentally. I just have to get used to this new lifestyle. That's all. All right, night, guys. It feels like a whole month has gone by. I've got 10 minutes until my class. It is freezing. The wrinkles, my skin's not breaking out from it.